Hello there. Contrary to the unpleasant claims made by Remainers, Brexiteers are not driven by bigotry, xenophobia or racism. They just want their laws to be made in the UK. According to a poll by ICM for the think tank Open Europe, Brexit voters were more interested in the background of potential migrants and are not guided by any nasty, racist or bigoted attitudes. The poll of 4,000 people on the subject of immigration found that 84% of them were more concerned about the criminal record of potential immigrants than anything else. 73% thought it important for potential migrants to have a job offer and 69% thought it important that there should be a skills shortage in the area where the job existed. Being able to speak English and the likelihood of them claiming benefits was also high on the list. Only 7.9% of respondents put any priority on ethnicity and only 6.9% on whether they were Christian or not. Henry Newman, the director of Open Europe, said, Contrary to what some have suggested, our research demonstrates that overall public attitudes towards immigration, and indeed Brexit, were not fuelled by racism or intolerance. We found that both Leave and Remain voters are far more concerned that potential migrants do not have a criminal record or do have a specific, specific job offer than about migrants' race, religion or sexuality. Open Europe's immigration project provides an evidence base for a sensible conversation about post-Brexit immigration policy, which can attract public support and address the crisis of confidence in our current system. The Open Europe think tank stayed neutral during the debate running up to last year's referendum and says, Our starting point is the promotion of democratically grounded economic, trade and investment policies which foster growth, employment and freedom under the rule of law. Guided by these free market and liberal principles, we are committed to an open Europe and an open Britain. But I expect the Remainers will just continue to spew out their endless vile narrative against Brexiteers. In articles for The Telegraph and Express, the Prime Minister Theresa May has said that she will not be derailed from her promise to deliver Brexit. Amid all the noise we are getting on with the job, she writes in The Telegraph. In the face of those who want to talk Britain down, we are securing the best and most ambitious Brexit deal for our whole United Kingdom. And my message today is very clear. We will not be derailed from this fundamental duty to deliver the democratic will of the British people. But here are some lines from her piece in The Express that should put alarm in true leavers. Although she writes about... Looking ahead with optimism as we secure a smooth and orderly Brexit while taking back control of our borders, money and laws once again, she then immediately goes on about protecting rights, setting up an implementation period and then says, we will begin to build that new, deep and special partnership. How on earth does that one square with no deal is better than a bad deal or nothing is agreed until everything is agreed? It seems we're already past that bit and now just trying to rebuild our place within the EU. Then after that she writes, This is the exciting part of the negotiations and there is no limit on our ambition and creativity. Followed by, We want a new economic partnership which will support generations of jobs for our people. And here was me thinking that it would be our relationship with the whole world including the EU, that would be supporting our future prosperity, not just the EU. Then when you look at her next line, which says, And we want a new security relationship that can help to keep families safe here in Britain and across the continent. You suddenly get the whiff of total EU centricity, as well as a very strong sense that our armed services really are on the negotiating table for handing over to the EU control as part of Brexit. Although she talks about a global Britain, I am nowhere near being convinced now that that is what she really means. 
At least our fishermen will get some help from fishery protection vessels to help them though. According to the Sunday Times, the Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs, headed by Michael Gove, is to get the first of four vessels to prevent illegal fishing in our waters. Due to enter service next year, HMS Forth will be equipped with a 30mm gun and machine guns, as well as a helicopter. These vessels will operate in conjunction with air and satellite surveillance. Lastly, Tory Brexiteers have gained support in the Cabinet to scrap EU laws that limit the working week to 48 hours. Many Remainers will of course wail at this, saying that the workhouse has made a return to the dark satanic mills of the UK. But what this will really do is give millions of workers the chance and the choice to put extra hours in to earn more money. It will also give UK firms far more flexibility when looking to make the most of their own trained staff, instead of being forced to bring in agency workers, which can be a very costly option. A minister is quoted in The Sun on Sunday as saying, This will give employers the added flexibility they will need once we have left the EU, and it will allow millions of people to earn vital overtime cash. Whilst another source told the newspaper, This is what taking back control is all about. It will put the power to decide how hard to work back into the hands of the people who matter, the ordinary British worker. One or two Brexiteers have been pushing to scrap this daft directive and there is big support for it in Cabinet. This should not only be a way of workers taking more control of their lives and finances, but could also help boost UK productivity. What do you think of the ICM Open Europe poll, Theresa May's articles, fishery protection or scrapping the working time directive? Please leave a comment below. Thank you. Please do like and share this video. And also subscribe to my channel. And when subscribing, please do remember to press on the little bell next to the subscribe button. That way you'll get an alert every single time I put up a new video. Thank you very much for watching.